Yo guys, what is up? Davis here. So this video is going to show you guys how to install or switch a GTA 5 mod menu. Uh, mainly this video is going to be showing you guys how to switch it. Because I got a lot of you guys asking that. So anyway, uh, you're going to need two things. I'm going to show both ways how to do this with neighborhood and with the USB. So if you have a Mac or something like that, uh, you don't, you don't got to worry about neighborhood. So down below, uh, if you're going to use a USB, skip to that part. Uh, but this part right now, I'm going to show you how to do it with Neighborhood. So anyway, install Neighborhood if you don't have it. Uh, go to the description, download it, install it. Uh, make sure you click the skip add button if you uh, click the link to download it. Anyway, second thing you're going to need is your mod menu. And uh, the GTA 5 mod, mod menu is going to be an XEX file. Uh, if you have it in a RAR file or something like that, then like something like this, uh, you're just going to click, right click on it, I don't know what this is, don't ignore that, but you're going to right click on it and then click extract, or you can just open it up and then drag the contents right out to the desktop, either way works, doesn't matter. Anyway, what you're, you're mainly wanting this uh, .xdx file on your desktop, so what you're going to do first is you're going to open up neighborhood, go to JTAG, retail hard drive, and right in here is your uh, stuff and um, if you don't know how to add your uh, JTAG which I should have mentioned before I went in there you're gonna click add Xbox 360 and uh, type in your IP address which can be found um, if you go into XCX menu and then click LB that the IP address should be like right there somewhere so um, anyway go to JTAG and so as you can see I already got Pandora I got some GTA 5 mod menus on here already um, and I, I want to switch it so say I have like Pandora or the purge or whatever doesn't matter um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag and drop this over here and click copy and replace if you already have one on here and you're gonna open this up and you're going to scroll down to uh, plugins right here. And plugin 2 should usually be your cell server, which I don't have one set. So, um, whoops. So just say that is your cell server. And then, um, and then plugin three is going to be your GTA 5 mod menu. So um, you're going to copy this name right here. And you're going to paste that in there. Whatever your name is for your mod menu, doesn't matter. Um, and then make sure you type in the XEX right after the mod menu. Uh, if not, it's not going to work. It's not going to load up. So pretty much this is all you have to do. Uh, it's really simple. Um, the plugin 4 should usually be JRPC2, plugin 5 should be XRPC. Uh, if your stealth server has XEGs or something, just leave XRPC or leave plugin 5, five uh, leave it blank if your uh, stealth server has XE cheats. So uh, then what we're going to do is save it, save it a few times just to make sure, you know. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back into neighborhood. And let me. And we're going to uh, drag and drop these two files right over in here. And we're not going to put this in a folder. We're just going to drag it and drop it right into the root, and then click yes and replace all. So then we should see it. So there's our launch I and I now, and our our mod menu that we just put on here. So then what we're going to do is. Uh, that's pretty much it. All you gotta do is restart your console um, and your mod menu should be there. Uh, the next part is gonna be the USB part so I'm gonna stop this and go to that part. Yo guys, so I'm recording on my phone to make this thing a lot faster so uh, anyway I got that other video uh, saving right now um, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a flash drive. Um, flash drive looks like this and you can get these in your McDonald's Happy Meals at your local McDonald's or Wendy's. No, I'm just kidding, but seriously, you can go get them like at any store. Um, doesn't really matter which kind it is. Uh, 
anyway if you have stuff on your removable disk you're obviously you know you're gonna plug it into your computer and if you have stuff on it just make a new folder which is what I'm gonna do name it stuff or name it whatever you want and I'm just gonna drag and drop that stuff in there to keep it kind of cleaner and so everything else is kind of easy to find once we start what we're doing so the the files that you're gonna need obviously um, is your mod menu you're not gonna need neighborhoods so let's put that aside um, so you're just gonna need um, your mod menu so I don't even need this either um, so here's your mod menu that's your .xex file and like I explained if you have your mod menu um, and it came in like a .x .rar file like this one just right click on it and click uh, extract uh, extract to that you know whatever the, the file name is and then it will be there and then you can open up the folder and you can view the stuff and then basically you're just gonna want to drag and drop the XEX onto the desktop and then you want to drag that XEX into your flash drive just like that you don't want to put it in a folder um, you just want to you know have it there so you can see it easily so after that uh, you're gonna take your flash drive so let me get my lines down here okay so that screen went down now we're gonna plug it into our console if I can get it in there okay so it's in there and I need a controller okay, so anyway we got that plugged into our console and what we're gonna do is go to games and you're gonna go to XDX menu and you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna click uh, RB right here and then you should see your mod menu right there so we're gonna click Y on that click copy then we're going to click X and go down to HDD1 and then we're going to click Y and paste and that probably won't come up for you but if it does just click overwrite or click confirm whatever so if we go down here we should see our mod menu and there it is so yeah um, we're going to go all the way back up and you're going to look for dash launch okay um, now dash launch, it, it might be in one set of files depending if you got your console from me or not. Um, if you got your console from me, it's going to be in one set of files. So go to dash launch and then installer and then default.xex. And then you're going go to want to go down to plugins and then um, you're going to want to uh, set your plugin. Plugin 2 should actually be your stealth server. So if you click A on it and then click hard drive, and then let's just say advocate live, uh, that's a stealth server. Uh, plugin 1 needs to be, uh, plugin 1 needs to be XBDM, plugin 2 needs to be advocate, and plugin 3 is your GTA 5 mod menu. So we're just going to go all the way down to the mod menu and so yeah that's that's pretty much it if you if uh, your cell server has uh, XEX cheat or XE cheats or something like that uh, you can actually delete plugin 5 because then it'll, it'll um, if you don't delete plugin 5 it'll cause issues and won't let stuff load for XE cheats so um, anyway if you're you know if all your other plugins are set already and you have your mod menu there and you just want to switch it out then just ignore everything else besides switching that mod menu so you know if you have everything here and it's all done like say this is ninja you have pandora and stuff like that and you want to switch pandora to something else just click a go to hard drive once it loads if it asks that time it didn't ask and just you know go to whatever mod menu you want and select it and it's that simple and then you can click uh, RB and you need to do this click RB and go down to HDD and you're gonna click X only on that if you click A 
what it does, um, if you click A before you click X, it's just going to reload your settings, your old settings, and you don't want that. If you, if you do that, you'll have to go back and do it all again. So, uh, after you do all that, just restart your console and it's all done. And your mod menu should load up. If your mod menu doesn't load up, then it's most likely a bad uh, mod menu or doesn't work. Or, so yeah guys, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching.